Hey rookies, what's up? Welcome to this edition of the Bourbon Rookie, where today I am your cigar rookie, and I'm going to be presenting a tasting of Davidoff, number two signature series. I know it's hard to see. Come on, focus. It's hard to see because of the cellophane, I guess. Um, what can I say? I mean, Davidoff is one of those um, brands that... Um, I don't know how I feel about it because there's such a high price point, but the cigars are good, but the price point is a little too high, and um, uh, they're not like cigars that like bowl you over, where you're like, oh my god, it's really interesting, um, the flavor changes, um, hearty, full-bodied stuff, like makes you hungry when you're done smoking it type cigars. They're just, for the most part, David Off is just a consistent brand in terms of, uh, they give from head to toe, it's, you're getting like the same cigar throughout. Um, this cigar I want to do a review on because I was watching um, on YouTube, because I'm a little bit of a YouTuber. Um, Eddie, uh, I'm going to mutilate this poor guy's name. But I, I do enjoy some of his videos. Eddie Sahakian of Davidoff of London Cigars. So his father, I guess, started Davidoff of London. And he's uh, uh, involved in the business. And they did a review of this that just looked so, for lack of a better word, romantic. That I really wanted to try this. So without any further ado, this cigar kind of speaks for itself. I was a little disappointed. I thought it would be... For some reason, I had a brain fart and I wasn't really looking at the actual size of the cigar. I thought it was um, more of a Toro size um, than, I guess, what you would say a Lancero at best. Um, so, I thought that this was going to be bigger, but let me see. You, you know what? You're going you're to get the specs and you'll see um, the specs in the video. And uh, let's just, I got two of these online. Uh, that's the way to go with this. I think they were 23, 24 bucks a piece. Uh, and I don't want to ruin it. I've smoked one already. And I'm going to, this is my second of the bunch to give it a fair review. So stay tuned and I'll catch you at the end. So, kind of the sweet spot with flavor for me on this particular cigar. The cigar, the first cigar I had was a little more creamy. Uh, maybe because I'm smoking this one outdoors. I don't know. Maybe it's my palate. Palate has a lot to do with it, I guess, uh, in terms of how you're tasting a particular cigar or whatever. Um... This one I'm getting just a lot of earth, a lot of cedar. Um, there's a creamy texture to it, of course, that David David Off is kind of famous with, and there's a slight hint of a nut and a slight hint of a sweetness. So it's a great, I wouldn't say great, it's a good. Cigar construction is good. Had a nice, cute little pigtail on the end, which I cut off with my little Zycar scissor. It's an enjoyable cigar. Do I recommend it? Of course, I recommend it. Uh, but I recommend it more at twenty-three bucks as opposed to twenty-eight, whatever it is. Uh, not online. Uh, online, I get again twenty-three. If I had to pay any more than that, I wouldn't buy it. Um, in reality. This cigar is probably a $12 cigar, you know, but with the name David off, of course, there's a, there's, there's a markup. So, um, and that's what I mean about David off, what I let off with, 
you know, I'm even confused a lot of times myself. Um, this cigar is a great morning cigar. Um, you know, if you're if you're into that type of thing where you want to smoke a light cigar in the morning with your breakfast or have something somewhat lighter for lunch, um, this is the this is the cigar. If you're new into cigars, it's a pretty decent cigar to try outside of something flavored. So uh, with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really got talked into this by that um, by that video that's in the link. Uh, David off of London. Check out that video and tell me what you think of that and if you like this cigar. And if you like the review, please subscribe. And uh, believe it or not, Doggy says subscribe. That's Nina, guys. Take care. See you. Stay frosty.